Hi there everyone. Today we are going to be fact checking some 5 inch motor myths, Mythbusters style. Does a 2306 motor really have more low end throttle control than a 2207? Can you really run a 4S motor on 6S voltage and use a motor output limit to get the same performance? Let's not waste any more time. Let's get these motors on the thrust stand and find out. When we're busting myths, we want to be making sure that we're doing it in a controlled environment and removing all other confounding sources of error. So in this testing, I'm using identical motors. They're all Emacs Eco 2s. And the 2306 and 2207 motors have identical KV. They're both 1700 KV. I then also have another 2306 motor at 2400 KV to look at the effect of running a 4S motor on 6S voltage. The ESC that I'm going to be using for this testing is the Chaos BL Heli S ESC, and it's going to be running BlueJ version 0.16 on my recommended settings for BlueJ, which is motor timing of 15 degrees and 24 kilohertz PWM frequency. I want to give a brief shout out to Unmanned Tech in the UK. They sponsored all the hardware for this testing and have been really supportive of all the scientific testing of motors and ESCs I've done so far. If you're shopping in the UK and you need some FPV gear, please consider checking them out. The first myth is a big one. Does a 2306 motor really offer more low-end throttle control than a 2207? To test this myth, I did a throttle ramp up over 10 seconds to full throttle with both a 2306 and a 2207 motor and then compared the thrust they produced against the throttle setting. I would say that this myth is conclusively busted. The shape of the throttle curve for both the 2306 and the 2207 is actually very similar. It's just a simple fact that the 2306 makes less thrust at any given throttle value than the 2207. In fact, the same effect could easily be achieved by using a throttle limit on a 2207 motor. If you want more low end throttle control, I would definitely recommend using the throttle expo setting in Betaflight, which will give you a lot more resolution in the throttle at low values without sacrificing top end thrust and power. The second myth is that a 2306 motor offers more torque at low RPMs. I think we can say that this myth is also definitively busted. Both motors, the 2306 and the 2207, delivered identical torque at low RPMs and identical torque across the whole RPM range. And that's as we would expect because a prop spinning at a particular RPM requires a certain amount of torque and that's going to be the amount of torque that the motor delivers. If we're looking at excess torque that the motor can deliver at a particular RPM, then that would come under motor responsiveness, and we're going to cover that next. The next myth is that a 2207 motor is more responsive than a 2306. The previous myth was that the 2306 motor has more low end torque. Now, if it has more low end torque, it should be able to accelerate more quickly than a 2207, for example. And it, I think it's telling that these myths contradict each other. So you have one myth that says that a 2306 has more low end torque and another myth that is that a 2207 is more responsive. And yet they can't both be true. To test motor responsiveness, we use a step change in throttle. So I had the motor spinning at five and a half percent throttle and then stepped to 50 percent throttle and then stepped back down to 5.5% throttle. And I think we can say that this myth is absolutely confirmed. The 2207 is a more responsive motor than the 2306. In fact, the 2207 motor accelerates about 11% faster than the 2306. You can see here on the y-axis RPM per second, the rate of change of RPM. The 2207 is able to achieve a higher rate of change of RPM, so it accelerates more quickly. Under braking, both motors brake equally fast. I couldn't find anything to split them here. So it's really in that acceleration where the 2207 shows an improved performance. 
The next myth is that a 2306 motor is more efficient, but a 2207 motor offers more top end. So let's look into that in some detail. If we look at this graph of thrust versus electrical power, we can see immediately that the 2207 does indeed offer more top end thrust and power, and that myth is definitely confirmed. The 2207 offers about 8.7% more thrust and consumed 13.1% more power in my testing. But is the 2306 more efficient? Well, no. In fact, that myth is definitely busted. Both motors, the 2306 and the 2207, offer the same amount of thrust for the same amount of electrical power. The only reason that the 2306 might consume less power is simply because it's producing less thrust. It's not more efficient. That being said, a weaker motor will offer longer flight times because with the same throttle position, you'll just be flying slower and consuming less power. The final myth is about running 4S motors on 6S voltage. Can you get equivalent performance using the motor output limit in Betaflight? To test this, I ran a 2400 kV motor with a throttle limit versus a 1700 kV motor. The throttle limit for the 2400 kV was chosen as 1700 over 2400 or 70.8%. With those settings, the 1700 kV motor delivered 10.5% more thrust at full throttle and was about 10% more efficient over the whole throttle range. So the 2400 kV motor always consumed about 10% more power for the same thrust. So if you're looking to run 6S voltage, you really are better off picking a motor with 6S kV. I hope that that helped separate some of the fact from the fiction around choosing a 5 inch motor. If you enjoyed the video, please hit that like button so that other people can see it too. And if you don't want to miss my shootout between BL Heli and Fettech ESCs, make sure you're subscribed. You'll see that video the moment it comes out. If you really like the work that I do and want to support the channel, then the best way that you can do that is by joining my Patreon. I'll put a link down in the video description. And if today's the day that you feel like I've earned your support, please follow that link, check it out. You can join from just a few dollars a month and you'll get access to a special area on my Discord server, as well as sneak peeks of the upcoming projects that I'm working on. That's all that I have for you for today. So until next time, I wish you all very, very happy flying.